Hey everyone. Hey Ben. Hey Joe. Oh my god, this is our first ever special edition of T4L TV. I know. Welcome everyone to It's so exciting! It is! Where are we going? We're going to Edutech. Oh my goodness, <laughs> the most exciting education exhibition on earth. I cannot wait to show you all what we saw, what we experienced at Edutech. Yeah, Can take, you with it? Take a look at what we found on the ground. It was awesome and I'm sure you can tell we actually have one of the biggest stands there. T4L puts on a huge experience for everyone. New South Wales Education Experience Central. Unbelievable. I know, there was hardly any chance to go and see what was out there, but Joe, I know you made time. What did you find out? Let's take a look at my Edutech Top 5. So we're live here at Edutech and we're going to discover my Top 5. Here we go. So one of the best things about coming to Edutech is seeing all of our major vendor partners here with some amazing workshops. We're here at Adobe where they've got a stage going all day long. People like the amazing Dr. Tim Kitchen who we have at our Interact Ed events will be here presenting today. Let's find out who else of our vendor partners are putting on some amazing workshops here at Edutech. My Edutech Marathon continues here at the Microsoft stand where you can learn about everything Office 365 as well of course as Minecraft Education Edition. If you've never been to Edutech, as you can see from around here, there is so many places to learn all in the free expo. Mark it in your calendar for 2020 tomorrow. And now we're over here at Google where they're also doing some amazing professional learning initiatives. I've just learned all about Google Expeditions. That's something you can do in your classroom tomorrow. Make sure you take a look at it and don't forget, free awesome workshops like this are available every year at Edutech. So we've had my Edutech number one, but what's my number two? Well, it's a brand new product from Lego that sits right in between the Lego WeDo and the Lego EV3. So it's a little bit more challenging and it has a cool name and a cool color. It's called Spike, it's in yellow, and it's coming out really soon. Make sure you tune in to our next edition of T4L TV when the team give it a thorough review. Now remember everyone, this is all about my year of tech and this has to be my edutech number three. I'm inside the Rode podcasting van because podcasting is all part of the 2019 T4L plan. So make sure you keep tuned and in line because we'll be releasing our first episode really soon. And now it's time for my Edutech number four. We're here at the Dyson stand. Dyson at Edutech? What's going on? We've got this amazing new tap. You can wash your hands and then you can dry it completely in the one unit. Unbelievable. Is this an example of Edtech? Make sure you're booking your tickets for 2020. And here we are, this is my Edutech number five because Edutech would not be the same without New South Wales Education Experience Central. You need to be here at what is my real Edutech number one, New South Wales Education Experience Central in 2020. Make sure you've blocked out your calendar today and put in your professional learning submission to be here with us in person next year. Gosh, Joe, you got around. I was a massive fan of the Rode podcasting van. I want one of those. There are so many different things going on at Edutech. And one of the things that I like most is seeing students present and students attend the expo. Let's take a look at Edutech from a student's perspective. Well, all of you get ready to stop. Hi, my name's Kevin Fox. 
Hawks. My name's Luke Holland. And I'm here at Educator to present about technology at our school and overall just have a look around. Here to present and show other people about robotics and how it works. So what I've been doing today is I did a little presentation with Luke and Taj. We presented about robotics at our school. Um, we were using the Lego Mindstorm robots, which were a fun, interactive way to code and build a robot. Yeah, it was great to teach the teachers about robots as well. Yeah. To show the students' perspective on how like we use robots and how it can be used in the future, to show them like a fresh mind of how things work. Students are more in the generation of technology than the teachers. Well, students um, have more likely grown up with technology, so they know that it's all about everyday life and you use it all the time, so they can they know a better understanding and they can show teachers that it's very important for the future. I feel like technology is going to take over the world like it already is today, and it gives students an understanding of what their future is going to be like, and it makes learning fun. My name is Jade. My name is Edward. I'm from Reese Public School. Um, today we will be presenting our initiative. Today I want the teachers to take away that uh, teamwork is a really important skill in life. Teachers need to know what the students are doing and how they like to be treated and how they like to learn. I like using technology because it makes me more interested and makes me more um, like I want to do it and like get uh, hands on in it. Today I have to try find smart whiteboards for our classrooms at school and we've got to think about the prices and the features of it. It's uh, more fun to use and all the features will be easier for the teachers. My name is Leila Alamdeen, I'm from Sir Joseph Banks. My name is Judy Bowie and we're at Edutech today to perform, give interviews with students and also learn about what there is here. At our school we use technology basically to learn every day, so especially in our learning hub and we use technology for experiments, to do it for assignments and it's basically our way of learning. It benefits us because we're not really sitting down and writing all day, we get to actually learn one-on-one -on -one, and I think that's a better way for learning. I think some of the benefits of using technology is you learn new things every day. When we first started doing coding I didn't know how to do it but after further research and getting like work through with it um, I just learned how to do it. It's just learning with technology is easier than learning with the technology. The fact that unis all they're looking for now are kids that can think outside of the box. So I think by coming to something like this today, it really gives us, like, it opens our eyes to what the future looks like. Because in 10 years' time, there are going to be robots taking over our jobs. So I think it gives us insight into what the future is going to look like. So good to see the kids' perspective on Edutech. It was mm -hmm. fantastic. So many great things were happening, including one of our collaborations with a really big partner. Absolutely. A virtual reality expedition that Google launched, a collaboration between the New South Wales Department of Education and Google to produce an amazing expedition taking you right into the heart of Taronga Zoo and Western Plains Zoo in virtual reality. I just cannot wait to hear from the Google team, in particular Swan Yo, their Head of Education here in Australia. Take it away, Swan. So all you need is the Google Expeditions app uh, on your phone. And you can have a self-guided tour with this uh, Google Expedition across uh, the Taronga West and things. I think you just got to dive right in. You know, sometimes the, the first step is the hardest, but once you get in, you see the sort of the powerful, immersive, 360 degree experience that you can feel like you're almost there. I think Google Expeditions, I like to call it the next best thing to being there. You know, sometimes you don't have the opportunity because uh, it's either too expensive or too far away to go to some of these places. Um, and having Google Expeditions is that virtual experience that you can have while sitting in the comfort of your living room or your classroom. Uh, and go to places as far as you know the International Space Station and try to plan it around uh, what you, your, your current uh, existing lesson plan and you know and, and get kids on their journey with uh, and the best thing about Google Expeditions is you can now create your own expedition so we have a 
product and the tool called uh, Tour Creator. So when you create your own expedition, you can then share with, with other people as well. And that could be, you know, your, your hometown where you've gone on holiday. Uh, and once you've created that, you can share that with other people as well. So they can go on that journey with you. And we're excited to see where you're going to go next with Tour Creator and Google Expeditions. I'm going to have to dig out my VR goggles for that one. Absolutely. And if you guys out there have got the primary virtual reality kit as part of the STEM Share community program, then make sure you download the Taronga or Western Plains expedition and get your students totally immersed now. So Yvette, we've heard from students, we've heard from our partners, we've, heard, we've seen the amazing things the T4L team have done. What's missing? Teachers. Oh my gosh, absolutely. <laughs> so what's up next? We are going to hear from the inspirational Lynette Tran. Uh, I think it's important for us to create future focused learners because we want to encourage our students to be autonomous and to give them the skills to develop their creative and critical thinking. Uh, we want them to be able to collaborate and develop entrepreneurial skills and enterprise skills that will lead them into the 21st century. Often uh, our students are limited to the classroom, a lot of chalk and talk and as we develop in um, both our teaching pedagogy and the way we work inside the workplace, uh, we want them to build on their skills. We know that uh, women in STEM are being underrepresented and we want to give students uh, the confidence and the ability to move forward. You know, we want to create experiences for them to allow them to take off. Because as a woman, I feel that it's so important for other women to have powerful role models and to see that they have the possibility uh, to do anything. And I don't want to, to feel that they're limited to the stereotypes and the different positions that they are expected to go in. So you know what, you can be an engineer and you can be a scientist and you can be the best in your field in whatever you choose to do. I actually started as a visual arts teacher. I knew absolutely nothing about robotics and it's just a matter of seeing what you have in your classroom and in your school. Grab those resources and just have a go. You know, we think that sometimes the technology we use is so complicated and so hard, but really, when it comes down to it, uh, say you were to use a Makey Makey kit, you know, you connect a bunch of bananas and then students are able to create a piano, or you can quite simply grab some Lego pieces and put them together. If you are interested in using STEM, there's just so much opportunity out there. And it's as simple as, picking up some old Lego pieces. Well, I know Lynette has inspired me and I'm sure she's inspired you as well. So you know what? You need to get out that computer, that smartphone, lock in 2020 EduTech in your calendar today. And as soon as you can book in, do it. Do it. We not only want to see you there, we want you on our stand. We want you involved. We want to hear your stories. So we want to see your students there. We do. we do. It was brilliant. We've had a blast. But now we've got to go and recheck that top five list of Oh my God, we do. We have go to action some of those items. Coffee, it's on me. See you guys on the next edition of... T4L TV.